I like to do for beekeepers whenever possible is do alcohol washes um, while I'm in their apiary to see how well their mite control worked because uh, all too often beekeepers do not ever check. They just make assumptions that their mite control efforts worked. And I know Landy would like to know that. This is an alcohol washer and this, we will put about a half a cup of bees in here and we're gonna screw that on. It's filled with alcohol. That will kill the bees instantly. And then we're gonna vigorously shake them for about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll leave the bees in one half and let the, the mites in the wash come through on the other half. And that is how we'll get an idea as to how many mites are in these colonies. There's about 600 bees in a cup. So half a cup of bees is roughly 300 bees. Correct. So if you've got six mites or more in that alcohol wash, that represents 2%. A 2% and infection. over about a 2% infection is usually fatal. Uh, well, I, well, it's a serious problem. I heard the Bee Informed Partnership reported at EAS that if you're finding, if you have a 5% infestation rate, that colony has a 50% chance of surviving. Yeah. So the higher the level, especially the later the season, uh, the greater your chances of failure. Yeah. And all too often, people don't, uh, people that get into beekeeping, they, they, um, they, they don't believe they have mites because they don't really look for them or don't know how to look for them. Um, and they're or, so small, it's real hard to they, see. Or them. They, just ignore, they just ignore that yeah. fact, okay? So that's something that I, 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 I'm continually trying to remind people of. This wash tub works really great for collecting the bee sample. Sometimes people will bang them right on the ground. I don't like to do that. I just like to hold the frame and give a quick jerk. And I'm collecting a half a cup in the washer. I'll do that. You can put these back. Okay. And then we'll do a shake. It's not like this. Sometimes people want to do it like this. They're not going to dislodge anything. You want to shake them hard. Here's something that, that's important that people don't often do. You know how we're shaking? And then at the very end, I like to give it a swirl to help to dislodge anything. That, oh, there's, there's one, one now. See that? Yeah, we got it at the swirl. We got it at the swirl. <laughs> so one, Landy. I'll take that. Yeah, Zero, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 per 100. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in order to be a good, profitable beekeeper, you have to be a good mite manager. If you can't manage Varroa mites, you're not going to be in the bee business very long. Mm -hmm.